head over to losingmymind.com to check out our latest song, Genocide. Support our work. Now onto the show. From the New York Post, Don Lemon's new show, CNN This Morning, bombs in debut. Yo, he only he was only able to get 71,000 key demo viewers. Yo, I'm pretty sure that, I mean, we get we get 60 percent of that number just in concurrent viewership on this. In fact, we do right now have 43,000 people watching live. And that is key demo viewership for the most part. That means in like 10 minutes, we will have more viewers than Don Lemon got on his morning show. But wait, there's more. CNBC cancels Shep Smith's evening news program. The dude could have just stayed where he was and reported the news, but he had Trump derangement syndrome and now he has no job. And then you get this. Jake Tapper's rating deficient CNN primetime show to end after the midterms. So uh, I'm feeling good. How are you guys feeling? It's fun. I feel fun. like the old guard's on its way out and the new guard is established. We, I, I think we got to open up that uh, expensive bottle of, of booze here <laughs> in order to, to celebrate this this. You know, changing of the guard, as some people would call it. But, you know, who would have thought, you know, propaganda doesn't pay? Huh. <laughs> Statism and, and, and just lying to, to people on behests of the very powerful didn't, didn't work. Lying didn't work. Oh, what a surprise. Sad. Huh. And sad. I think they just have no audience. It's like Trump was right. He basically said, you know, CNN is fake news. And it's true. Like, they literally don't have a constituency. At least MSNBC, I think, talks to, like, leftists that's their audience fox news talks right. to like right-wing people and cnn they're just like yeah you know we just want to keep on saying how we hate trump make all of our news about trump and who's our audience going to be then the new guy who takes over says you know we'll make things independent we're not really going to be biased anymore well that didn't happen so i mean these people are entertaining if you're not doing politics it could be entertaining but they're not I mean, funny maybe you know I'll, I'll see what uh, chris licht can pull off with cnn he's getting rid of who? these people jake tapper is gone Take a look. Take a look at this picture. CNN this morning. There's Don Lemon. All very happy. It's like, hey, you're doing a morning show. So don't wear don't wear a tie anymore. Like, don't wear a button up. So it's a jacket with a T-shirt under it. And like, that's that's the vibe. Mm. It's it's look it's, relatable. Look it's, happy. It's so cringe. Pastel pink. Oh. Got those really nice turquoise. Dude, there's no amount of money CNN could offer any serious person to go and, and try and do something with them. I'm sorry. Oh, guys. I would go. Could totally change everything at CNN if they asked me to do a hit primetime show. A hit primetime yeah, show. I would take. Good I wouldn't luck. take myself seriously. That's the problem with these people. I, is they're afraid of looking like fools, and it's okay to look like a fool. <laughs> I, I, I would. The go, audience agrees. I, I would. I would go outside and, and get a steaming pile of trash, and then just do a, a live stream of that, and that would probably get more views than what they're getting right now oh, with dude, the trash that they're getting. They have up. no, but for real though, it would. If CNN right now announced they were replacing Tapper with a steaming pile of trash, it would get like 5 million views on its debut night. Mm -hmm. No yeah. joke. The yeah. next day it would get about a million. And then it would consistently hit about a million from people who are like, how long is this going to go on for? Mm -hmm. Them just showing steaming trash. Well, you get different angles of cameras with that can zoom <laughs> way in so you can see the bacteria growing in real time. And then it's really, you know, entertaining. Dude, yeah. I, would, I would turn that on. I yeah, would watch too. it. If, um, in yeah. fact, if CNN announced that, I'd be concerned they were going to pull our viewers away. I'd be like, oh, man, <laughs> you know, because people are going to want to watch that. If they like dumped Gatorade on Don Lemon's head when he wasn't expecting it, it would get 100 slime million him. views. Yeah, yeah, you slimed Don Lemon. You, you <laughs> let him know ahead of time. We're going to slime you at some point today. What if? Oh, dude, I, 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 I OK, so I'm, I'm assuming the reason they didn't fire Don Lemon is because he's under contract. Hmm. If I was if I was Chris Licht and I was taking over CNN and I, I couldn't fire him, I'd be like your show. It's going to be great. You're going to go on stage. And the audience are all going to have buzzers. And when at least 10 people in the audience press the button, you get slimed. So there's 30 people in the audience. That means you better say the right thing. Otherwise, the audience is going to send you to slime town, baby. I, I, they got to let Don slime himself. Wait, and no one likes to be slimed against their will. So, Don, you just take it upon oh, yourself. At some point tonight, I'm sliming myself. He's going to be wait. called Slime Lemon. Yeah. Slime. I, I got an idea. I got an idea. Here's, here, so, you know how we do a Chicken City that if people give 100,000 Super Chats, it accumulates and then the chicken party happens? You could do something like that where Don Lemon's sitting at a desk with a soccer horn right next to his head and he's just sweating as he <laughs> reads the news and people are sending in money to the show and every $100, it goes... Just right in his face, and I got. They, they'd make 
bank. Yeah, I don't want to objectify Donnie though. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it would just be like a way to roast them, and they people would love to see them like really well dressed, like you know, like manicured in the morning, just totally slimed. I think people yes. would really enjoy that. Right, right. I would. Listen, listen. If CNN is failing and everyone hates these people. That's where the money's at, baby. Yeah. You got to be like, hey, look, the audience hates you guys and you're under contract. Let's make money off it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What can we do? How about there's a, a big cartoon hand with a glove and it loads pies and every, you know, $500, it launches a pie at the at the host. Well, what's, the, what's the game where you get dunked in the water? What, uh, uh, they're uh, sitting. They're sitting in this like a little a pool. Dunk tank? Uh, yeah, they're they're sitting on the dunk tank, reporting the news. And every time they get something wrong, they get dunked into the water. <laughs> what like, about like uh, a factually incorrect? I yeah. like I like pies. I like um, sliming them. Big fan of slime. I feel like yeah. the only person who'd play these fun games is Trump. He's the only one who doesn't take himself too seriously and would be willing to actually throw himself out there. Like, do you remember when he was riding in that car at that big race car thing? And everyone was like screaming. They were just cheering for him. I don't know. Like he knows how to get the crowd going. I feel I, like he'd be able to like make really good TV, make good ratings. Mm -hmm. These people, they're just like sticks. Like they just don't want to step even a second outside of their comfort zone. And I also think like people who are content creators, make YouTube videos, they would see like, oh, this is a video someone really liked. Let me do that again. Let me do the same thing or let me try something new. But these people are corporate media. So they're not interested in trying new things. They Don, just want people to accept what they are putting out. At one point, he said, maybe a black, could it have been a black hole that swallowed the plane? <laughs> and I, he might have been goofing around. Maybe no. he was just letting his, psycho, his psychosis run. But I mean, it didn't do well. It didn't play well for the, for the network, him saying that, which is too bad because we need that goofiness, I think. I, re I remember when Trump was at a rally and he was like, these lights, they make me look orange. They make <laughs> me orange. And everyone's laughing. It's, it's like he's self-aware. Yeah, he, when he, he, talks did a, about he did a roast. The, yeah. the swimmer, yeah, the man, like passing the woman, and he's like, oh, she has like a wind burn because he just like swims past <laughs> her so quick. It's like he just comes up with like the best comments. It's not fun. This the, Shep Smith, you know, on CNBC, Don Lemon, it's not fun. And this and you can see it in the in the videos. They were trying to make it fun. And it's not look at this. The three of them sitting there looking at Hillary Clinton on a big screen is just nightmarishly cringe. Mm. It's just like, dude, let go. Yeah, at least have a hologram of Hillary there in the room. Well, like Fox? So, something high tech. I think Fox did that, right? Remember when Fox did the Shep Smith thing where they had the giant tablets? That was so, so cringe yeah. as well. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the yeah. they had giant tablets, and they were all excited. Like, the future of the newsroom is gigantic screens that you can, like, use your hands, and I'm like, I'm pretty sure that's not the future of the newsroom, dude. <laughs> but, you know, whatever, man. What, what do you think CNN's going to turn into? Is it like QVC? They're going to be selling and, and checking and jiving <laughs> like the latest beauty products and, and jewelry. Be like, I could see Don Lemon doing that. That could be a, a very, I mean, they got to make money somehow. What does it see? I mean, does that mean, what does it mean? Cable News Network. Cable News. Mm. Well, yeah. cable's done, so they don't right. need that name anymore. Well, I mean, there's still a lot of money in cable uh, because people still do use it. And now what we're seeing with these uh, streaming services, they're creating bundles that are basically the same thing as cable was, but now it's just online. So... I think the cable industry is not going to go anywhere. I think what they're going to do is they're going to convert into online streaming providers. But CNN Plus, such a failure. Oh, I, I held man. a funeral yeah. for CNN yeah. right. Plus. Had to say oh, you had goodbye. You a funeral for them? I did. How much, yes. did they, how much did they spend but, on that? But, you know, I think CNN, like, like they're going to hold on till the end because they're like, oh, we're still kind of riding on our coattails from when like people liked this kind of thing. But I think if they try to transition to CNN Plus type content, it's like people already made it known that they don't want that content. You would have to get someone to rebrand the network, like someone totally, like someone like Tim or something, like someone completely new that's like independent, new, fun, willing to say whatever. I mean, and I mean whatever, but the, I guess the problem is that they're funded by a military industrial complex. You know, I, I got to I gotta imagine, that, that's a fair point. See, the thing is, I don't trust CNN. I imagine that they'll, they'll say something like, look, we're trying to do right and we want to, you know, be more relatable. Why don't you come and fix it? If you take them up on that offer, then... A day later, they're like, here's why war is good. Read it. And you're going to be like, but I don't want to read it. And they're going to be like, read it. You know, be like, Otherwise, they're going to lock you in a room and put you in golden handcuffs. and Or threaten, like, if you say that, it violates your contract. Yep. Some abstract thing. They'll have, like, a 70-page contract that they want you to sign before you start Oh, I've there. seen them. They're ridiculous. Huge contracts. They're, like, not 70, but it's, like, you know, maybe, I mean, close to it, actually. Yeah. With, like, vague terminology, like, anything that we may. Morality uh, clauses. 
where it's like if you if you offend someone's delicate sensibilities, they can terminate your contract, and it's just ridiculous. It's like they they bought who uh, Discovery bought CNN. Is that right? The the IP I think the Discovery owns CNN. Yeah. It's like buying VHS in like 1997. Like now I own the VCR VHS or Betamax. Like what are you gonna do with VHS now? It's a dead brand. It doesn't. The, the age of the video cassette tape is, is now done. The age of like stodgy news reporters pretending to tell you the truth is they, over. They yeah. tried with Casey Neistat. That was CNN, right? CNN mm -hmm. hired yep. Casey Neistat and then he made Beam or whatever, or he turned <laughs> Beam into CNN or yep. something. Yep. And it didn't work, I guess. I don't know. They did it and they were getting views or whatever, but then they just stopped. Maybe they were doing a lot of paid promotion that wasn't paying off. I feel like they're never going to be fun or entertaining, so that's off the table. But I think if they did real journalism, then people would really appreciate it. Obviously, I realize that's completely far-fetched and not going to happen, but yeah. they're supposed to, like, you know, like, question presidential candidates and debates, and they're supposed to do serious things. It's like they're not, like, the real housewives of New York or something. Like, they're supposed to do some serious work, although that would be pretty funny, but... I, I just think journalism is lost and they're choosing not to be journalists. Thanks for watching this clip from the Timcast IRL podcast. Hang out with us live Monday through Friday at 8 p.m. and become a member over at Timcast.com for uncensored members only shows exclusive. Thanks for hanging out and we'll see you all next time.